Hello passion fruits and welcome to another video. I really need to make this video because as my channel is growing, there's also a responsibility that comes along with it. I started this channel when people um, watched my video about me and Luki going on a bike ride together, which went kind of viral. And they started asking me to do more owl videos. And I didn't really feel like it at the time, but people pleaser as I am, I did it anyway. And that's how I got into it. The purpose of this channel has never been to encourage people to buy an owl as a pet. I'm not saying that you can't do it if it's legal in your country, but I was hoping that the educational owl videos I was making on my channel would actually prevent people who had already planned to buy an owl long before they discovered my channel um, from buying an owl impul impulsively. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna give Luki some time to fly freely around the house and I'll get her back into the video in just a few minutes. Now, I still do feel that this channel isn't making more people without a falconer's education get an owl because I have received multiple comments from people saying they want to thank me for keeping them from making the mistake of their life. So there have been a lot of people who really wanted an owl and who were about to get one um, when they found out about my channel and because they watched multiple videos, they actually didn't go through with it and they thanked me for it because afterwards they had to admit that they wouldn't have been able to care for it properly. What is Lucky doing? Lucky, what are you doing? Where are you? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, she landed on my back, look. She followed me. That's so cute. Okay, we're back together, reunited, and it feels so good. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, what was I saying? Tum tum tum. So I was saying that I honestly don't think that my channel is making matters worse in the world um, because I have received a lot of comments from people who have thanked me uh, for mm, preventing them from making a mistake. And I've also saved a couple of Owl's lives uh, through video chat coachings um, because there are people who, you know, didn't even know about my channel and they, they bought an Owl anyway and then they found my channel, they contacted me and I was able to save two or three Owls so far. So, you know, um, I really don't think that my channel is making things worse all over the world because if that were the case I would just quit this channel like right away um, but I just want to make sure that I'm not contributing to any animal abuse I do not want to contribute to owls being taken from the wild and then lead a horrible sad life because you an owl that is taken from the wild can never be happy. It can never be tamed and it can never be happy. And that's what this video is about because a lot of people make the mistake of buying an owl and they, they buy it on the market or on the internet and they have no idea that that's not the kind of owl they want because what they want is an owl that is as tame and as friendly and as cuddly as they watched on other YouTube videos. They just assume that if they will buy an owl, that the owl will be like that, which is not the case. So, um, bad stuff happens a lot because, first of all, people buy owls at the wrong places. And I will get into that deeper later in this video. 
But the other thing is that people think they have done enough research to care for an owl and so they buy one but then they encounter all sorts of problems to which they have to find an answer really fast or the owl might die and they can't find the answer because falconers don't write about these kinds of things in their books. There are books about falconry but they don't mention um, how to take care of your owl. They mention the art of falconry a lot, but not, not all of the very specific important details of what not to do with a bird of prey and what to do every day with a bird of prey. Um, so you can know a lot about owls, you can watch all of the documentaries you want, but you're still not going to be able to take care of an owl. And a lot of people think they have done the research, then they buy their owl and they encounter so much problems. And there are two possibilities usually. Their owl either dies at a very young age because of a mistake they make, or um, it doesn't die, but it turns into a monster when it's adult. Because these people encounter all kinds of behavioral patterns that they don't recognize and they don't know how to respond to it. For example, you know, the owl might do something which indicates aggression, but the people might think, oh, that's so cute. And they will either encourage the behavior or not correct it. And thus the owl will grow into a vicious monster later because, you know, they don't recognize all of the behaviors and they haven't corrected the behaviors and, you know, the owl turns into a vicious monster and the people mostly, and most of the time, the people end up regretting buying an owl because they can't do any fun stuff with it like they saw in other YouTube videos. So yeah, a lot of people buy an owl and then encounter a lot of problems and they can't find the answers in books, documentaries or falconry blogs because falconers love to keep their falconry secrets. They will never write a book about how to raise an owl. It's just they don't do that. They want you to come to them and pay a lot of money and then you know, after you have done the training, you can call yourself a falconer. But you will never find one book that, not even one tiny book, that describes uh, what you should do to raise an owl, ever, you know? And that's sad because if you don't find the answer to those questions fast enough, your owl will end up dead or you will end up getting hurt. So in this video, I want to talk about something really sad that's going on in a lot of countries, unfortunately. And I found out about this because an Egyptian girl reached out to me because she had gotten a barn owl for her birthday from her best friend. And she noticed that the owl was acting completely wild, that it wasn't tame at all, and that it seemed extremely unhappy. So she lived in Egypt and apparently it's completely legal there to sell wild animals on the market. Just like that. You can buy owls there, crocodiles. I mean, what? You can buy crocodiles there on the market. Just, hey, hi, I, I want a crocodile. Oh, thank you. What leash should I get? Oh, oh, thank you. Bye. Hi, Crocky, my new friend. I mean, that's insane. But okay, apparently it's completely legal there. Um... And, you know, her best friend always knew that her friend um, wanted an owl. Uh, so she, her best friend, bought an owl on that market and gave it to the girl on her birthday. And, uh, you know, this girl didn't have a clue. She didn't expect to actually get an owl on her birthday. So she wasn't prepared at all. Um, so yeah, she asked for a video coaching with me, which we did, and um, I was just really honest with her. I told her that she should go back to the man who sold it to her best friend 
and ask him if the owl was taken from the wild, yes or no. And as it is completely legal there in Egypt, the man was honest, of course, because he, he didn't have anything to lose. It's not like it was illegal. So he just said, yeah, they come from the wild. And I was like, okay, if it comes from the wild, then you should set it free again, which she did. Because I do want to emphasize in this video that this girl had the biggest heart I have ever seen. She was in love with this owl, but she just wanted the best for it. She couldn't see it suffer, you know. She told me, Elke, whenever I look at it, it tries to fly away. It's really scared and it looks, re it looks really pissed off. It's looking at me like, you fucking filthy human. And I could totally see what she meant. The owl knew very well that it was taken from the wild. And it, it, it was so sad. It was really sad. The owl was really suffering. And she was able to, with some of my tips, to calm the owl down in her presence. She was even able to put it on her glove. But still, she knew that this owl could never be happy with her. Um, so once she got the confirmation from the man that the owl was actually taken from the wild, she decided to set it free again, which is the best thing. It really was the best thing to do. Um, and she set it free in an area where she knew um, the owl wouldn't be hunted again. So we hope it's safe now. Now, the reason I did ask her to go back to the man who sold it to her best friend is because we had to find out first if the owl was actually taken from the wild when it was adult. Because if, uh, if the man just took eggs from nests or something and then he raised the owls in a big room, let's say, with a lot of other owls, then okay, the owl would still not be imprinted on humans but it might not have the ability to hunt anymore because it has never hunted, you know, if you take an egg and, you know, um, if, if they had taken the eggs from the wild and just fed the birds from birth, then the owl probably wouldn't have been able to hunt anymore and then you can't set it free uh, anymore. So then you have to find another solution to do the best thing for the animal and you know in that case I might have told her to keep it um, but then we would have you know we would have looked for solutions to give that owl the best possible life but in this case it was best to set it free. Now the people who sell these exotic animals they don't care about the animal welfare. Um, the barn owl was sold in this tiny cage and the owl was hurting its wings all of the time uh, because of that tiny cage. And it was so unhappy. Uh, the animals looked so stressed. It really is animal abuse. Owls do not belong in cages, you know. So, I know that there are a lot of people out there who desperately want an owl as a pet. And I can understand. I can understand that you're really passionate about that. But there are a few really important things that you need to know. There are no shortcuts. If you want a pet owl, first of all, you need to check if it's even legal in your country. If it's not legal and you really still want an owl as a pet, I'm sorry, but you'll have to move to a country where it is legal, you know? Second of all, you have to have a falconer's education. Even if it's legal in your country to own an owl without a falconer's education. Because in my country it is. I do not have to have a license or a falconer's degree to own an owl. I did follow a falconer's education to be able to take care of Loki. Because if, if I wouldn't have gone through the falconer's education, I would have messed up so bad. Loki would not be the bird she is today if I did not go through that ed falconer's education, okay? So even if it's not required in your country, still do it. Go to a falconer, contact him and ask him if it's possible. Ask him what you want, okay? And I know that it will cost you a lot of money, but if it's truly your passion, then you will be motivated to save money to pay for that falconer's education. You want to do it right. Do you really want to be like, nah, I don't have any money for a falconer's education. So 
uh, I'm not gonna save any money, I'm just gonna buy an owl. Okay, fine, and then you buy the owl and you mess up so bad that either your owl dies, which is gonna make you feel really guilty because it's on you, it's death, is on you, or um, you're gonna buy the owl and you know, you had all of these dreams in your head, you cuddling with your owl, filming it, maybe putting it on Facebook or something like that. But then, um, you know, after a few months, it turns into a vicious monster and you can't do anything with it. You're even scared of it. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Because that's what's going to happen if you do not follow a falconer's education first. You know, um, I totally understand that you want an owl as a pet, but I'm also pretty sure that you want your owl to be happy too. It is no fun to have an animal in your house and having to look at it every day knowing that it's incredibly unhappy because that is just sad. That is really, really sad, you know? So there are no shortcuts. Follow a falconer's education first. And then when you are ready to buy an owl, go to a licensed breeder. Um, an owl that is taken from the wild will never ever be happy with you. You will never be able to tame it and it will never be happy. Because an owl that's been taken from the wild has been robbed of its freedom and all of its animal instincts are still in there, you know? Um, if you want an owl like Loki, a really tame owl that is really happy in captivity, then you should buy a baby owl and imprint it on humans as fast as possible. It can only be done as a baby. So never buy an adult owl. That has no use. You will never get the bond that I have with Luki. It, it needs to be a baby owl. You have to imprint it on humans. And after you've imprinted it, you have to continue the training. Because there's not only the imprinting, there's also the training. You have to learn, your, you have to teach your owl to sit on the glove, to stay put on the glove, to eat on the glove, to, to come to you for food. That's not something that you teach your owl by imprinting it. No, imprinting it is just step one of the process. Then there's a, a whole lot of training. Uh, so never buy an owl on the market or on the internet the, those owls are not the owls you see in cute videos with children who are cuddling with their owls they didn't buy it on the internet and they didn't buy it on the market either the animals bought on the internet and the market are suffering and if you buy an owl from there you are contributing to a very 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 bad industry so I just wanted to get that out there. Don't buy an owl on the market or on the internet. Only buy an owl from a licensed breeder. And if you can't find a licensed breeder in your country, then that's probably an indication that owning owls in your country is illegal. And then you should look into the laws first before you go any further, you know? So if you want an owl for a pet, don't you want an owl that can love you back like this one? Well, it's possible, but you have to do it the right way. Don't, don't buy one at a market or on the internet. Go to a breeder and do it the right way. Do it the legal way, do it the right way, and make sure you have enjoyed a falconer's education first. That way you know how to raise your owl and how to turn it into a lovely, beautiful, <laughs> loving creature. A sweet, tame, loving creature. Because, you know, Luki, for example, first of all, she can't be released into the wild anymore because she doesn't have enough wild instinct anymore and the reason she can be happy here with me in captivity is because when you imprint an owl they either think that they are human too or that you are an owl too and you have two choices i mean in some countries it's, it's legal in some countries it isn't you can either keep your owl outside in a big aviary 
and I do I do mean aviary, not a cage, an aviary uh, with the right um, dimensions. You know, your owl needs to have enough space, but not too much because if it has too much space, it could also hurt its wings um, by flying against you know the fences. Uh, so you can either keep your owl in an aviary. Or you can tether it to a perch, like I do. Um, Loki is used to sitting in rooms with humans. She, she is used to human companionship. If I put her in a room alone or in an aviary in the garden, she would miss us, the humans, so much that she will get depressed. So, do you get my point? Loki is used to being with humans, she wants to be with humans, but a wild owl doesn't want this. It's not his natural, yeah, it's not his natural instinct. Um, you know, Luki craves my attention. Whenever I enter the room in the morning, she will start to make really sweet chirping noises and she'll fly to me. She, she will want to be caressed and she wants to cuddle with me and this is because we imprinted her this way um is that weird maybe yeah but i mean dogs belong in packs too you know and they were domesticated as well i'm just saying if you do it the right way you will see that your animal is not suffering i know for sure that Luki has a very happy life but she wouldn't be happy if she would have been taken from the wild. Then she wouldn't be like this. You know, she could fly away right now, but she doesn't. She does sometimes because she's really curious. She likes to explore everything. But I mean, she also likes my company. Look, she doesn't mind. And isn't this what you want? You want this, right? Do you really want an owl that you have to force to sit on your hand? Do you want to be frustrated every day because you have to literally force your owl to sit on your glove? When I put the glove in front of Luki, she just steps on it because she's imprinted on us and we taught her from a very young age to do that. So she will do it automatically. I don't know if she's going to do it right now. She's not gonna do it. But when she's sitting on her perch and I put the glove in front of her, she will step on the glove. I'm just saying, you want an owl like this and you can't do that by buying an owl that has been taken from the wild. So don't buy an owl on the market or on the internet. Go to a licensed breeder, but before you do that, make sure you follow a decent falconer's education first. I feel like I haven't said everything in this video that I needed to say. It was just a spontaneous video actually. Um, so I will make more videos about this topic to make people see that you can't buy an owl on the market or on the internet. If you want an owl like this, you will have to work for it. Whether you like it or not, I'm just telling you, okay? So I will see you guys in the next video. I also apologize for the noise outside. They are um, tearing down the house next to us. So that's going to be really annoying um, the next few weeks. But yeah, I can help it. So I cannot make it go away. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I post videos every week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yes, are you blowing kisses too? Are you blowing kisses to the viewers? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, cutie pie. Cutie pie.